Hello and welcome to part three. Um, I'm continuing my early conquest of the Mali. Just finished the early empire. Uh, about to get masonry soon. Well, relatively soon. And I was thinking I'm getting my first governor right now. And I can grab state workforce relatively fast. So I was actually thinking about grabbing Serasker with um, the Ottoman unique um, governor because realistically right now I don't actually have the resources to chop. Um, I don't have enough worker turns and I'm go not going to go into a golden age so and although I have goddess of the harvest so I think I'll just I'll actually delay chops till the next stage and I might not get the pyramids for that reason but getting getting Serasker is actually quite possible quite fast um, although let me see here if I grab this how many turns do I have two turns one two yeah there is is this a planes I think it's a plains hill, right? Probably. Um, I don't think I can f manage five error score even... Yeah, no, there is no way. I am just too late for it. Just too late for it. So I'm going into normal age. There is even no reason to push it at this point. So I'm going to go with Ibrahim. And Ibrahim will go to Timbuktu for now. And then I'll switch into Kumbi Saleh. And now I'm going to go for state workforce and I need to switch my policies a bit around. I want still to have this. I want to produce some more units. And I'm going to go with making purchasing tiles cheaper because I want to do it as soon as human possible. So I'm going to confirm these policies and I'm going to burn some money here to buy this because those are the tiles we need up there and then I'm going to save up money and buy these three tiles because I'm planning on putting the um, Colosseum somewhere roughly right there one two three four five six because it will be able to cover at least five cities one two three four five six seven maybe I'll actually put the Colosseum right here One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So it will cover one, two, three, four, five, six cities. Maybe even seven if I put a city right here, but I don't see a reason why would I do that near the volcano. Maybe, but I don't see a point right now. So if I put a um, if I put a Colosseum here, I'll need to buy this style and put a an an. an entertainment co complex right here and if I do that I need to chop Trabzon to do this so grabbing these tiles is going to be kind of important thankfully these tiles are going to be targeted by the border AI and then I have to figure out to place to place my to place my um, government plaza and I need to do that in a city that can actually grow enough to support it, right? Because what's the point of having a government plaza if the city doesn't grow enough to have the other districts that, that I need? So what to do here? Where to put the government plaza? Well.
I could put it like right here but it wouldn't do me much good I could put it here but this city isn't going to grow very fast either so maybe I'll actually use maybe Niani to plan the government plaza in it can probably grow to size 4 and then plop a plaza somewhere what's this? this is a uh, Suguba under construction yeah if if Niani doesn't have a Suguba which it does oh it does have okay great so marketplaces he's building marketplaces excellent um, I think I'll use these cities to plant actually a, a government plaza or maybe I'll chop it out in Timbuktu I'll see but we need the government plaza that's for sure okay time to continue he's willing to open borders but I don't need horses I need money so let's see how much is he willing to pay for open borders maybe 40 yes I need all the cash I can grab so I'm going to be squeezing him out for all of it there we go and now let's see if he's willing to actually buy my resource and he isn't okay so we have some money now let's see how I do, how do I want to do this well I think it's pretty straightforward I think I'll use this intermezzo <laughs> to actually pillage as many tiles as I can although I do run a risk of him being able to produce more units in unfavorable, in unfavorable terrain so I think I'll do this actually yeah why why did they do this well because if if he now pops a unit niani now pops a unit it's going to go one to one of these three tiles and now all three tiles are within range of my archers this archer as well um so potentially if need be so th that unit can be killed immediately okay classical era no golden age for us I'm going to go with monumentality finally improve this and now we can finish off Kumbi Sale or damage it to beyond recognition let me see what are the odds major victory okay let's see if I believe you and now we can move Ibrahim down there excellent and we will have state workforce in three turns and now I can now we can start pounding on the city finally I don't know why I moved that guy, but okay. Can you please move out of the way? Thank you. Uh, uh, um, the monument. Granary. Can I sell my resource? No. Two turns till these bananas come online so I'll go and improve those and I can start now saving up money for the builder there see and now he is within range of
all my units. Bam. And now I can safely move out this guy. Because if he moves out his warrior from Niani, it's actually going to be much easier for me to capture that city. And we have a barb camp up here as well, so that's perfect. I think the next gold, the next age is going to be a guaranteed golden age. And I'm going to move this guy into Kumbisale to heal up. And I have to switch off from masonry and go for the wheel. Now I need to switch away from the state workforce and go for drama and poetry, for now. Oh, and the spearman came out. Oh, crap. Mm, I, didn't, I didn't anticipate that move because the barbarian scout saw my unit. So what to do now? Well, first I want to pillage this. I need to get rid of these barbs first, that's priority number one. However, what will happen is he will leave the camp unattended, I'm afraid, and Mali is going to grab that camp, which is really unfortunate. There's little I can do about it. There's little I can do about it. I didn't anticipate that move by the AI, unfortunately. Okay, let's improve the bananas. More income is more income. Oh, he didn't go for the camp. Excellent. There we go. State, for state workforce is now complete. Now I can upgrade Ibrahim to Seraskir, which is just broken. There we go. And now we have super soldiers. Um, but we need to get rid of this warrior first. So let's do that. Oh, right. We don't have pottery yet. Well, that's my bad. Uh, how are we going to get pottery? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to move this guy up here and start working on irrigation. Do I want to change anything? Yes, I do. I want to be able to get more production from my cities. And I think I'll actually use the unit maintenance card for this. Or... Mm, no. No. Let's, let's do it like this. Oh, he has more warriors coming. Interesting. There we go, 90 gold. Let's purchase this builder. And we can actually buy, well, almost, we can almost buy that tile. Almost being the next turn, so I can do this. And actually stay here. Um, well, we need to kill this wave as well. And Trebzen can now start, start working on... Ooh, what can it start? 
Maybe I could squeeze in a government plaza here, huh? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Like maybe right here. Would it benefit me? Where would I want to put the government plaza? What I do know is that I want it up and running as soon as possible. So where would I put a government plaza? 12 turns, that's too long. Not if I do this. Then I could put a government plaza right here. And then it would serve for an industrial zone right here and maybe here for chef zone, I don't know. I think I'll put it in Istanbul as an exception. And Trebzon can start working then on a trader because we do need a trader. Oh my god, so many warriors. What? Is he buying stuff? Really? He must be buying things. Maybe I can bait him out. Oh, but his city is being damaged. Okay, so... I don't have enough cash apparently for this. It's how much? 65. And I have 62. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, we need to move... You know what I think I need to I need to actually get the city. I need to get that city. Let's switch to the wheel. Let's get that Eureka for masonry. And I think I'll go with another archer right here. I think it's imperative to do that. Like so. Yeah, we might lose a unit here. That's right. Ugh. So many warriors. Can I finally buy the tile? Thank you. There we go. Irrigation boosted. Now I can improve this. And now we can try also selling some luxuries to... He's still not interested. Okay. Let me see the quest. Sailing, masonry, archer. Oh, excellent. Hong Kong wants an archer. Great writer. Outpost within 5,000 Yurka for sailing. Okay, so two guys want sailing. Well... We'll see about that. Oh, I forgot I took out the Barbarian card. Well, that's, that's crappy. Um, next, let's go with Currency. I think I'm gonna lose that camp over there, which is not ideal, but I have no choice. I still have some barb camps to clear up there, so that's, that's a thing as well. Hmm. 
what to do here. I need to get this guy out of the harm's way. Somehow. Let's do this for now. There we go. Eureka for masonry. And let's continue on to the currency. And uh, two, two turns till this archer pops out. Okay, we lost a warrior, no big deal. Now we can finally take care of the city. Which will hopefully fall next turn. That's the plan. Uh, what do I want to build here? I think I want to go with a ancient walls as much as it sounds counterintuitive right now. I need for a Eureka. And now can we please start selling some of our luxuries? No. Yeah, definitely walls. Okay. We can proceed to political philosophy. And now we really need to take this city. even at the cost of... There we go. And unit saved. Okay. Now, do I want to finish him off? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because that's going to cause a lot of grievances with John Curtin. However, I don't really need, so let's check if I can... What's the best route I can get? Let's see from Timbuktu what we can get. And now let's see which city will be growing the fastest here. Well... I'm not actually sure. Let's see how much money is he offering for peace now. 8 gold per turn. However, this city would give me the chance of exploring the other coast. So I think I'll leave it here and think about it and see where I go from here. Do I, do I go and conquer my continent and grab John Curtin as well now? And because it's going to take quite a few turns to get to Gen and to Geelong, or, I'm, or am I going to wait with that and build up my empire now? Because he is now neutralized, basically. He lost his three cities, he's left, left with one. He's commercially focused, so he's going to build commercial hubs and stuff like that. Maybe a, like a shrine, if he has a place for it. 
Hmm. Maybe I should actually grab Jan. Because if I grab Jan, I'm going to cut off Australia from the bulk of the continent. But more about that in the next video. Thank you for watching.